I've more. seen some people do really impressive videos uh, sure. Sure. of the rolling the coin, but catching between two fingers, that's yeah. that's something special. That's something only androids can do. Only androids can do. Challenge accepted. Starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. My name is Connor. Alex, coin tricks aficionado sent by December Boys. Am I doing this right? So after seeing so many people struggling to imitate or actually cosplay the coin tricks from the game Detroit Become Human. One more time. We filmed uh, this tutorial. Apparently some people have found it helpful and some people were complaining that I said that some of these tricks were impossible to perform in real life. Well, I got news for you, gamer virgins. This was actually computer-generated graphics. Well, there were actually other Sherlock's who were trying to point out that the coin was added later and Brian Descartes or Deschart if he was in France performed all the tricks without a coin. You guys must be fun at parties. It's obvious that definitely he didn't perform all these tricks. It was all computer-generated graphics. And uh, I thought I don't need to point that out, but apparently I have to. So the whole point of the previous video was to try and replicate the coin tricks as close as possible to the video game. Because it's fun, right? Apparently some people said that I didn't teach any of the tricks. Well, I taught you the coolest one. I must say that I said that catching the coin between two fingers was impossible. It turned out that I proved myself wrong and now I can kind of replicate the catching of the coin between two fingers. And this is what we are going to try and teach you guys in this video. So first and foremost I got to address the size issue one more time. That's what she said. Of course in my previous video I said the best coin that you can use is half dollar or a dollar coin. Half dollar turned out to be the optimal size but then again there was a wise man telling that Connor actually used a quarter, which uh, is half true because he used a coin that had a design of quarter. And if you can compare the size of the coins, this is no way the coin that he used in the original video. So the coin that was simulated afterwards had the design of the quarter, but the size was something more of the half dollar coin. So this means that this is the coin that is the best suited to work with this trick. Of course, alternatively, you can use poker chips or some bigger coins uh, like this. This is actually the best coin for all the tricks, so you can use it, throw it into your other hand, catch it in between two fingers. This is really easy to perform. Uh, you can catch it like this. You savages ordered this uh, 50 cent from our website. I appreciate that, but there is no need for that because it's kind of expensive considering the shipping. You can buy a similar size of 50 cent coin from eBay for dirt cheap and for free shipping. So I would recommend you trying that. Or if you, of course, want to buy some original 50 cent coins, you can do so in our shop. So speaking of the catch, and uh, the main prerequisite for the catch would be the throw. I assume that you have already mastered how to throw the coin from one hand to another using the muscle pass, and this is uh, something that I expect you to actually be able to do before you start and attempt to catch a coin properly. And uh, I mean properly in between your two fingers like this or like this. And uh, obviously when you do this, kind of throw and catch, I expect you to use my technique because of course you can throw the coin like this and try to do this horizontally and catch the coin and I assume there is a slight possibility that you will actually nail and you catch the coin like this or like that but the chances are that you will not be able to do this, not be able to accomplish that. So that's why with the muscle pass it is more predictable, you can predict the movement of the coin and in slow motion like over here you can see that the coin actually springs off your palm like that and it rotates every time the same way. So you can see that it rotates this way and the trajectory of the coin is kind of predictable. And this is why your receiving hand 
can really expect what is going to happen right now. And this is what helps us to catch the coin properly and of course proceed to the next step which is catching the coin in between your two fingers. So before you start I suggest you prepare properly. So this is how I prepare for this kind of tricks. With some practice you will actually predict how the coin is thrown from your right hand to your left hand and uh, then you can try and catch the coin in between two fingers like that. So when you catch the coin like this, you actually have already achieved something a really, really great feat because if you have seen elevator scene, Connor throws the coin, catches the coin like that and he actually catches the coin like that as well. And this is the end scene when the Lieutenant Hank actually slaps the hand of Connor and gets the coin from his hands. But this is the way he catches the coin once. And of course, in the main scene, when the Connor was alone in the elevator, he caught the coin like this. So I'm going to teach you how to catch the coin like that as well. So first things first, you need to learn how to catch the coin in between your two fingers like this, clip it like that. This is the easiest way to catch it. And uh, this is how you do it. Not the first try. Bruh. Almost. Almost there. Nope. 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 Almost. Yes. So I have caught the coin like this. And uh, so yeah, basically what you do is you predict the movement of the coin from your palm. This is why the muscle pass is so uh, useful over here because you can predict the movement of the coin and you can catch it in between two fingers. All you do is this clip in motion. If you have actually made it to this point you have mastered the muscle pass and you have caught the coin like this i salute you you can film this video send it to brian send it to amelia and say that you are a true fan or actually go to a convention and cosplay the coin tricks in front of them i'm pretty sure they will be amazed because they said it was impossible and now you're actually doing this and hopefully my video has helped but this is not all now i'm going to show you a few tips on how you can actually achieve the impossible and catch the coin like that. It will be difficult to nail it every time. You will obviously want to decrease the distance between your two hands, so put it closer together like that. Knowing that the coin is going to rotate like that and it will naturally, due to the gravity, it will fall down something like that. You can adjust the positioning of your left hand, or for me it's receiving hand, you can do it from left hand to right, whichever works for you better. And uh, now you can turn your hand like that a little bit. So that will be, give you a slight advantage because the coin is will eventually bump into your middle finger or index finger, it depends on the way the coin is going to rotate. And hopefully it's going to stop like here. And then you're going to press with your index finger to secure this grip. So how it works, this is why I prepared a lot of coins. Now we're going to try and practice it and see how it works. So I'm using the muscle pass, throwing the coin and catching it like this. This is what you have, I hope you have already achieved uh, due to our previous sections of this tutorial. So trying this one more time. The sounds are kind of annoying, but you have to bear with them. Make the distance smaller and make the receiving a hand like this so obviously this is not the perfect catch okay so this is one of these occasions that I was talking about previously the coin didn't actually land it where I wanted it but it landed on my middle finger then it touched my index finger and I was fast enough to actually secure the grip so I was kind of lucky but then again it all comes down to muscle memory it's not about luck anymore. When you have mastered the muscle pass, once your index and middle fingers have been used to this kind of motion, your muscle memory will play a great part in this and it will help you to actually catch this coin. So I guess this is it. And uh, pretty much now you can see a few slow motion videos to better understand the physics behind the throw and the catch of the coin. So 
guys subscribe if you want to see more coin tricks because we are probably going to upload another video in like one year and uh, stay tuned of course for more card stuff because we are uploading that regularly bye to <laughs>